William Hanna and Joseph Barbera made some quality cartoons in the day. As a kid, I loved watching The Jetsons, Scooby-Doo and Top Cat. And The Flintstones was a must at the weekend after a hard week at primary school. And when the game started pouring out on various systems, it got even better. Or so we thought. But, is The Flintstones burger time in Bedrock any good? Well, let's have a little look. It starts off with a great animation to show us the story of the game where Fred is late for work and his boss gives him a special job to do, making burgers. Yes, this is just a reskinned, modernised burger time game. The object of the game is simple, make burgers by walking over an item that makes up a burger. But the pieces are on different levels in which you need to climb to in order to walk over them. It's not as easy as it seems as enemies start to make their way in to stop you. These will be mostly prehistoric animals and even the Great Gazoo. You can get rid of these pests by using your club, however it's not a permanent weapon so you must only use it when you really need it. You can also squash them with the food items as you walk over them, providing they are directly below. And this I found to be the easiest way to finish them off without using your club. There are power ups to help out such as Dino the Dinosaur, that will seek them out and get rid of them for you. Elvis, which clears the enemies off screen. Buffalo Helmy, which freezes enemies for a short time and a guitar which turns all enemies into bugs. But is this game any good? Well no it's not. I've got nothing against the idea, but it falls in the category of shovelware. This is an old arcade game that may have looked and played good in the arcade or even 8-bit system, but for a game in the 2000s it's not something you can really settle down and enjoy for hours. Personally I'd be pissed off paying full retail price on release for this when you can get something far better to enjoy on the system for the same price. There's 24 levels to get through and honestly after the third I was bored shitless. It doesn't grip you because it's just the same shit all the time that progressively gets harder. The graphics are okay and the music isn't much better. You can pick this up as a loose cartridge for less than a tenner, but personally I'd put it towards something worth playing. <laughs> watching. If for some strange reason you like my videos, please consider subscribing so I don't feel so unpopular. Do you know what I mean?